Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would actually do something helpful and teach y'all how I do my eyebrows because lots of people ask me about them. Um, I get lots of compliments on them and I just thought, fuck it, why not just fucking share it so everyone can have fucking gorgeous eyebrows. A world where everyone has great eyebrows is a world I would love to live in. Should I grow up my whole head of hair or just keep the top? I kind of want to have all long hair, but like, like I can't stop shaving the sides because whenever it gets to that awkward stage, I just cut them off because it's just, ugh. I mean, I never wear my hair out anyway, it's always tied up. Anyway, back on track. <sighs> yeah, so I just thought I would make a little video explaining how I do my eyebrows. So if you're interested in seeing how I do my eyebrows, then please keep on watching. Okay, so we're just going to get straight into it. I'm going to zoom you guys in. So yeah, you're going to get a little bit up close and personal so you can see like my brows are pretty messy right now I need to get them cleaned up but I won't and you can see my skin is not perfect um, but yeah let's just fucking get into it so the first thing I take and this is my favorite product to use for eyebrows this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills fucking better not do that eh just drop the bastard as I was saying, this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills, um, I look like a caveman. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade, and it's in the shade Dark Brown. Yeah, it's really good. Mine's really old. They have a shelf life of, like, six months, but I've had mine for, like, a year and a half nearly, so, yeah. Next thing now, it's probably only been, like, a year, but still. Yeah, so I just take a little bit of this, and I have a special little brush that I like to like to use. Okay, we're just gonna fucking ignore the fact that it keeps blurring every 10 seconds, so you're just gonna have to deal with the blurriness and chill. I look, I look like the grudge. Okay, I'm gonna take a spoolie. This is just the spoolie on the end of my Anastasia Beverly Hills brow wiz. I'm gonna be using that as well, so we're just gonna brush all the hairs into a nice I'm just gonna tie me fucking hair up. So I'm just gonna be brushing those hairs. That works. Just, you know, dip it into it. And then I'm going to just take this little mirror so that I can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna zoom it out a little tiny bit just to see if that helps with the blurring. People could stop coughing in the background, that would be lovely. Okay, let's do it. So I'm just gonna explain to you what I'm doing as I'm doing it. So I'm gonna focus this on I'm going to just ignore this inner part right here for now, and I'm just going to go straight for the outer. Just fill it in a little bit, and then I'm going to go right... You see what I'm doing? Around this curve. Straight to the edge. I'm just sort of ignoring this part, and focusing on it, and just filling out this and giving it a bit of a, sh like, a shape. You see? Lightly colour in the top and the bottom. And then just take this spoolie again. Brush upwards. You see what I'm doing? And that's the basic shape you want, right there. You can see the difference between the brows. So what we're gonna do now is I'm just gonna take the other side of my brow whiz and I'm just going to fill in any like holes I can see. And I'm also going to just clean up the edges a little bit with this, just so that we can get a precise line, just so they look very sleek. And you wanna try and get, you know, little to no product at the, you know, beginning of your brow because uh, that's, you know, a trend, ombre brows, so, you know, trying to ombre them is a lovely idea. And then you have one brow. I like to take it a step further and clean up the edges with um, some concealer. So I will finish the other side and then I will show you how I clean up my brows with concealer. Okay, so now that both brows are done, they are definitely not twins, and they are probably not sisters, but they are definitely related, so 
Um, yeah, anyway, that's irrelevant. I'm going to show you how I use concealer to clean them up a little bit, just to make them that extra bit perfect. So I usually use two types of concealers to clean up my brows, but it depends on the day, you know, it doesn't really matter which one you use, just as long as it blends nicely and, you know, it's just got to get the job done. The one is the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer, and I fucking love it. It's so good. And the other is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Um, this is also really, really, really good. You don't have to use these two. If you have any other kind of concealer, just use your normal concealer. It doesn't really matter. It can just be any concealer. Just use whatever concealer you have. I'm just going to be going in with the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer today. I'm just going to be taking this flat brush right here. So what I do is I just take a little bit of concealer and I just put it on the back of my hand like so. I'm using my hand as like a, you know, what are those things that the artists use that, and they just like, you know, dip it in, they have a little bit of, that bit of wood that they usually use. Anyway, I'm using my hand like one of those and I'm just going to dip my brush in a little bit. So hopefully it doesn't, you know, go out of focus because I'm not redoing this. So basically what I'm doing is I'm just sort of cutting the outer edge in like a smooth motion just to make that sort of crisp line. And what it also does is I have a lot of regrowth like when my brows grow back and shit. So what the concealer does is it sort of helps to cover up those disgusting hairs that are growing back. You just want to take that brush and sort of blend it. Usually I'd use a beauty blender but I actually didn't wet any before I filmed and I'm not going to get up and wet one because I can't be bothered. So I'm just going to use my finger and a brush. I'm just going to do underneath now. So same deal, just going under. Smooth motions, making a crisp, a crisp line. Oh fuck. But I just went over um, my eyebrow with a bit of concealer and to fix it what I'm doing is just taking the brow lids and sort of just recolouring it where I went over and just blending the edges again with a, your finger or a brush and there you have a finished eyebrow. And there you go. Um, I'll just do the other one and then I'll fucking check back in with you. Oh you are fucking joke and look how nice that looks. I'll just do like a before and after shot, eh? Yeah, nah, I'm not doing that celery. Bam! Oh, hang on. That's not as perfect as it could be. Whatever are we going to do about that? What we're gonna do is we are going to fix that bitch and make her on point. It's really not fun being sick. <coughs> All right, so there we have it. This is how I do my brows. I'll give you another close up run now. Gorgeous. Not the best, not my best work, but pretty good nonetheless. I hope that helped. One thing I can say though is that having them shaped professionally really, really helps. Because I'll insert a picture of how my eyebrows used to look. Yeah, it's really not that hard. I mean, I'm not, I'm really, really not a professional with makeup. Having them shaped professionally really, really helps. It makes life so much easier because all you have to do is pretty much just color them in. Um, no real fucking effort needed other than um, trying to stay in the lines and, you know, when you're trying to clean it up. That's the only real effort that it takes. Um, but other than that, it's really, really easy. Just take your time when you're doing your brows. You can't go out into the world, you know, having caterpillar eyebrows because no one likes that. I mean, you know, actually, who am I to say that? People, some people might like it and some people might like looking at them. So do your eyebrows the way you want to, but if you want to do them like me, then, you know, feel free to use this video as a whatchamacallit, what's the word, a reference or as a, you know, just as some guidance, you know, you can do your eyebrows however the fuck you want, I do not care, 
it's your life, your story, your brows, your rules. Um, so yeah, just thought I'd share how I do my eyebrows because a lot of, I get a lot of compliments on my eyebrows, honestly. A lot of people ask me how I do them um, and it's really not that hard. You just have to have uh, patience and just get them fucking professionally done because honestly I don't know what I'd do if or they weren't already shaped for me. Actually, a step further, what you can do is take a bit of highlighter. This is just an elf one, I just picked it up just now. It's just the only one that was available to me. You don't have to use this particular one. This is just the only one that was right in front of me. Pretty much any highlighter works, as long as it's like bright. And what you do is you've got to, not that fucking brush. Oh shit. Where are you, Sharon? Where are you? Anyway, where was I? Um, so what you can do is you can just take a bit of highlighter and just a small brush and highlight your brow bone. So this is how you do that. No, don't do it. Don't go dark, please. And what that does is, honestly, I don't even know what it does, but just everyone does it and they just make your eyebrows look so much better. Um, I don't know why, but I just like you know, a highlighted brow, but like, can you see that little? Um, but yeah, this is, um, <coughs> these are some eyebrows. Um, fuck, they're not even even. Hey, this one looks so much better than this one on this side. This one. I should have covered my mouth. Anyways, if you like this video, then please give it a big thumbs up. If you're new to my channel and would like to see more videos like this, then please do click subscribe. And as always, don't forget to share this with all your friends so they can see my ugly face.